And a one to go. Will it be a classic? Yes, and it will. It <laughs> will. Oregon here for Gosh. Team Secret as our decider. Here comes that drop in the pressure. Grizzly's the first to suffer the grenade right on Grizzly. He's got to move or he's going to suffer it. And he does. Packball gets that pick up, but he knew he had no other option anyway. Gumphy gets the double down. Packball goes deep, gets cut in half as the spray around the side with the pistol goes for one and two. Can't quite lock it off. There it is, finally off the board. They have 30 seconds. Go for the pickup. Gorgona wins the fight around the back stairs. Gives themselves a mantle of solidity as Anarchic digs deep with a shotgun. Finds themselves now in a two versus one. He's going to try and find his way towards Diffuser, but he doesn't get very far. Gorgona pulls it back round. Still needs to try and get something from up top, but it's Officer round on the armory stairs that puts a bit of the fear in. Hyfe drives their way through onto the site itself. They're looking for revenge. There's the spray. There's Officer. Oh, oh, it's double. It's double. Mr. Officer brings the boys back into some semblance of safety. Slebin only has a second left. He sprays through, but Kavana make the triple rotation. You know, Kavana today, they're... Uh, Gorgona. Gorgona. Did you just saw him? So, um, either he's having the, the most insane flank and not wanting to give away his position, or he, he just didn't see. Well, he pulls back upstairs. In the meantime, Sloth acts against Packbull on the opposite side. That's the Diffuser sort oh, of no. in a tricky situation. Sloth, Anarchic, and Grizzly have to try and lock it off, and they do. With not enough time to get all the way back, Grizzly for a double down the corridor. Kavana, I was literally about to say they're not going to try and push it too much. And then Hive is trying to still challenge the bottom part, but it's going to be Officer Sloth, actually. Goes back up the back of White Stairs. The canister stops them trying to make the swing in, and the swing gets locked down by Gorgona on Trophy Door as Around well. Gorgona's out of smokes, but they've got their own as they cover their movement there. As suddenly a Malusi swung around, but Sloth for a double on the far side leaves. Just keen enough for very long, a 4K for Sloth to end the half and put them on five rounds of six. It is going to be Gomfi in a very safe position with an ADS and a Mew Gemma right around the corner. Second one will be cooked. That comes right in. Gomfi on one HP somehow survives. Physically two. The swing comes on the corner and that's a pick up for Gomfi. They assumed it was clear. There's another spray and there's a flawless for Secret. And they go beautifully clutched up. So pick up the vest rather than going for the entry there. That's Sloth. Good start here for Kavana to try and lock it out. Well, Kogona gets dropped almost instantly by Gonfi. Officer suffers next and then and round on the server side swing with Grizzly and Grizzly doubling it down inside the site. The shield goes, but Gonfi tries to go a little bit deeper. Gonfi and Slebin did all the holding from above before, but now it's just down to Slebin inside the classroom to try and teach a lesson. Slebin has an idea of where somebody is, but can't quite take the first. Grizzly with a trouble locks out a bit of trouble here for Secret. There. Dreams of Mexico are gone, even they though are. it was statistically tough. Maps six down and one to go. Oh, Oregon again. I'm sorry, what? Good lord. BDS, they are looking pretty alive at the back. The Candelas springing into action, and so do VP. But Shaiko, the only one to find a frag in the ensuing debacle. Lems, another one. And like that, it seems this attack from Virtus Pro has been slowed down. You've got to be mindful of Bride, who's stuck between a rock and a hard place. Whether he won that fight or not, the guys behind him were going to give him a bit of a headache. The Lems has got it <gasps> all to do here. He finds angles through onto the man. Try and find oh. any angle that he can. He moves around through the rotation, shut down by Pasha, and that's going to be a successful first attack for Virtus Pro. And that is a great start for them. They did not clear out this bottom floor and how much it's going to damage them. There you go, surely what? Pasha should have had the kill there. And it's starting to fall apart slowly for Virtus Pro here, and we're starting to see why BDS don't necessarily always need to play with the heavy roam game with the flankers, because they will just win those <laughs> gunfights. Shaiko. Ripping the man off the upside down rappel. Still playing at the bottom of elbow. They've got a lot of tools. They see the drop. One, two come through, but two big shots come through. Ras Pasha and WTG. Three headshots, three kills, 10 seconds to go. And in Converters Pro. If anyone could do it, though, it's going to be Bride. Finds one, finds two. The man's on a mad streak already. Can't quite get the final. Milan finding the kill. And Virtus Pro, for the second time this map, win the basement site. Action. Not one bit of it has been in the site no. so far. It's all been around it. And they force Rafael's two frag grenades coming out. Rafal finding a second, even though he got held up. Rafal's pushing laundry, but I think WTG knows here the door's barricaded. As soon as he oh. takes his shots, no, somehow Rafal is aware of the presence of the man Breedy. Finds a headshot onto Kajaka, and all of a sudden, BDS, they just spin this round on its head, and they manage to get themselves into a position to get the diffuser down, which Breedy will do successfully. Milon shot. shut down by the man after activating that diffuser, and what a round from BDS. Got to hand it to them there. They've 
they've got about 15 seconds to push with, and that's when Virtus Pro spring a Rask flank on them, or something else, or in this case, a trade between Shaiko and Rask. WTG uses that final toxic babe canister to try and hold them back. Milon, Pasha, Kozeka, all from that rear stage area, Des, that they were unable to clear out because of a meeting hatch that couldn't be opened. Freebie onto Renshiro, who is now just a breath away from death. Shaiko finds the man in showers, shuts him down. Headshot onto Kajeka. Breedy gets that diffuser down. It's all going to BDS. They just throw men at it <laughs> and they manage to find four for Shaiko. This is all about whether Shaiko gets his ace or not now, to be honest. As the battle continues into security, Ras circles around on the pistol. Oh, finds the really? man just about to end. Pasha, very low health at the minute. He's just trying oh, to do clock. anything he can with his life. WTG finds a beautiful kill on the drop onto Ilems and oh. in comes the shotgun and puts Breedy down Shaiko finds a kill onto Wrath 2 versus 2 as he goes down this is the Shaiko show right now Rafal he is but a side act in what has been Shaiko dominance over the last couple of rounds Rafal no. goes to get the diffuser down but he's upstaged him he has got that final kill out from under Shaiko they're constantly pressing and Pasha is going to get the opener onto Rafal a second from Carl Jekka comes in. That man Shaiko is looking to push from rear stage. Two big kills two. come in. Breedy and Renshiro. And this is exactly what you've said, Des. Every single member of this team is capable of what these moments. Shaiko goes over the handrail. He's got full health. He's looking to creep down, make any sort of impact he can from inside the supply. He sees one, he gets one, he gets two. Rask. Rask with a massive clutch at the end of round 13 to put VP onto match point. And here comes the push from Virtus Pro. They have no choice. Out goes the Candela. WTG follows one. it in, gets one. Surely can find a second. No, he misses his shots. It's three versus two, though. Smoke coming out. They've got to push in. They've got to go aggressive. Find the one. Can they get the next? Rafal finds two into one versus one. No, it's the last. How does this happen? Time and time again. 3K from Rafal. We're going to 15. What is happening? A player from BDS playing on the bottom white window. That's another great shot coming in. Ras goes down before Pasha trades back. Surely is poised for BDS to take a monumental victory. Victory. Absolutely, final 30 seconds, and there's the spray down. Shaiko is doing it again. 2K in the round, Karjeka down, Pasha as well. Milan swings one back, but can he hold off against three? Alems to the left, does he know? No, he doesn't. Alems gets the closing kill. He found the two, but this one goes the way of BDS. Look at that, you can see Ren Shiro just jumping up out of his seat there. It shows exactly how much this victory means and to be. And who will decide it is Team Empire. They'll go to Consulate. <laughs> a little bit later on in the wire, but there is also a Thatcher on the board. And now Blur is not on the board. So there is those Thatchers I talked about to stop those plants. There's the spray round. There's one more for the trouble. A post plant and a fantastic grasp of control here from Empire. Definitely so. And now they just have a mirror window to play with and nothing left to play with. It's a flawless round to start it off here for Empire. Oh, there's barely them. any cover and loads of audio and Nath is capitalizing on it. Gets one, gets dropped. The clash is gone out of the room and out of the board. But with the hold there from saves, drops the double. Only a handful of seconds left, but secretly make sure they don't get all the way. As they're slowly starting to set up, it's blurry now. He's still above and is going to be all taking down yet another one. Kind of keep posing that question of danger. Dan takes a fight up top, saves. With only 10 seconds, they've got to try and hot hop through this very dangerous oh, window wow. right now. They're going for it. There's the diffuser cold. There's one for secretly and Nath to Navi with a response. Plenty of utility. Now already going in for the plant in the meantime. As Saito picks up a kill for the cover and always as well. There it is, well formulated cover. An echo drone dropped from underneath is nitro. the one that might be able to get it. There's a nitro in the hand. There's a fight that's happening. The C4 just oh, too late. a second too late. Saves. In the meantime, they're still going to try and take an exit here. Unfortunately, it's not a happy one. Empire find their first. Oh, it's all the way in pocket. They're going to try and stick the plant secretly. Is trying to get it stuck in the secrecy of everything else. Oh, he else. gets it! There it is! Just found him at the last dying throws there. They're still getting the lockdown from above. The cover comes through just in time. Doki can slip out of there. A four versus two. Blur is buried. And for any audio cues to give the game away, there's the first fight. Takes it. There's the giveaway. There's a man trying to stick it. There's the second. He's going to drive forward with a pistol. Finds it and down Shepard. No! The last body round on the back Team of Spiral. Kill, 
Okay. He's the one that secures Empire. He just has to try and scream through it, being shot and zapped, but he's going to try and stick it to the best Ooh, of his ability. Eli. The call came out, pulled him off the evil eye, as the spray came around the corner, and it's a post plant. And I said it before, this is a very, very tricky retake. Even worse, when you're in a five versus one, he's going to get the lockdown and <laughs> the attempt when he had the plant and the stick before, but the back stairs proved too much. They had a bit of a crouched angle here, but not enough to stop Cypher, who's going with the C4 out over the top oh, and dropped. The fuser! Root is in and joystick. popped out. I know it is ferocious. Oh my and god, there joystick. it is. Two stories of devastation delivered at the end of a Russian gun. Navi are able to bite themselves back just a little, but with the canisters buying some time. There's the call, there's the drop, popped and locked by a shotgun that won't stop! Shepard! Brings Empire all the way around to the finish. They find themselves also enjoying the trip over to Mexico. Seven maps, six are down, one is left, and we're going to <laughs> Chalet. Just sending the Toxic Babe canisters into that default plant area to prevent Rogue's progress. Ooh, now then a big... He also takes down Citizen as well, but gets blitzed by Jonker as he tries to come in through that door. Corey's able to go in and start getting the diffuser down. He actually dips away from it as Kayak pushes crying and gets the kill. It's all down to Corey now. Oh, the aces. Kill. One versus two. Hungry takes down Kayak indeed and gives Corey the opportunity to put this diffuser down on the ground. He's going to get it out. Activated here, might be able to make the challenge. What? what? That's it, he's completely, Guys. completely baited them there into the wrong location. This is the kind of team play that I was on about before, but he knew that someone was peeking in from that doorway, doesn't find the kill. Instead, it's going to be rips at the angle to find Citizen and Corey from the longer angle. We've got a kill going in either direction, leaving us four versus two. Out comes a Great. big nitro from Kayak there to get Leon, but they will not prevent the diffuser going down. Cannot find the angle onto the man, and now finds himself all alone. Shut down from the window, and that is a great kill from Corey on the balcony to close out what has been a good round for yeah. Rogue. Then that double door towards the man plays the Toxic Babe canister out. He's going to have to dip out of there to keep himself alive, and what a kill that is on the reverse yeah. angle. To Rip's starting to work his way down. Others pushing in elsewhere. Hungry down to a slither of HP. Aces finds one back. Here comes the flank in the back. Down goes the diffuser. They won't get the deployable shield, which is up out of the way of that explosion on top of the piano, but they have now cleared that out with a second explosive. John does not connect with the target. One is down beyond the piano. You've got the right idea. It is Hungry. A double kill in the round for Rips. And one more on the window. Does he know? He sees the man. A 3K. Leon to bring it back. And around that I'm sure he really wants his team to walk away with the winner here. Sees one. Does he know about the Maestro on the other side of this window? Tries to step round, sees the man, gets the spray down. Kayak with a big 2v1. Where did that come from? Great finish there from Kayak. And that round just the E1D scanner just to try and lock those defenders in place oh, for a short push. time. Jonka moves along with it. Ooh. The push well timed, but poorly executed. Leveling things out at four versus four. Corey does take some damage before Kayak is the one to finish him oh, off. At Jesus. this point, Ace is alone on site. Has had very little to do this round except try and fight it out. Sprays down the plant and drops himself away. Hungry, just managing to get that diffuser going down. Up comes Ace. He sees the man. No way! Oh my god, he's so close to it, but Citizen whiffs the shot. Citizen rounds the corner, connects. That is going to be another one of those rounds. The Rogue will be lamenting. Crying, you've already lost one. Call it a 5 versus 3.5 if you really want. Make it a bit worse. Crying up on the top floor wants to contest, but there's a man on the upside down. Repel just daring him to step around that corner, and there it is. It's the easiest shutdown of Yonkers' life. Darting in and around this elbow corridor just trying to stop anyone pushing in. There comes Leon, one with the FMG, but he's now stuck in a one versus two. Sees the man, but Yonker hitting a wicked shot onto his head, bringing the game to a close, and that'll be G2, securing their spot at the Mexican Major. Four straight rounds in the second half. If you're looking at Team Vitality, 86% win rate on the past seven plays of Clubhouse. Looking hot. Doris has the opportunity to go for the peak. We'll try and maybe do so. That's a grenade to come right around the corner. Nure goes down. Shinka will be found, however, and will be secured surely. There, they're able to get them up on the backside of the smoke. The drone came through, and that's why P4 just pushed, but they lost the fight. Chaoxis heard the movement, caught out, and the trap has sprung. Ten seconds, though, and they've been able to stop the breach getting through. Seize one, seize two. You've got to get into a situation where you can try and strike here. There's Cactus getting one oh, more. Cactus. Double for Cactus. The cover came through and P4's okay. playing that game. Does in the meantime is playing a very aggressive Ooh. game, taking the head. Come through, you assume you'll hear that C4 in just a second. Voy goes for it, moves around. There's the play, there's the explosion, there's a cold diffuser. And it is going to be a Knights that win their defensive round.
And there's only one smoke canister left, however, 22 seconds and then Nitro available on the side of Void. They're rushing in, they're gonna try and spread their chances here, going in deep. There's no way Void is gonna be able to find this. Maybe actually the Nitro comes out, it's gonna be able to pick up a double kill. Shinka is sticking the plant and Void needs to move up. Is he going to be in time? That is the question, spots him out and gets the kill! They wanna try and swing in, they sort of pulled away from their hold before the C4 around the oh. corner ripped and dropped and the spray becomes the firefight that goes that way. Way the shotgun locks it off, but it's suddenly a three versus and two. Crept to a new bit of a location, got the hop and the drop on the first, just sees the oh. second, can't control it. Bulletproof cam still up around inside the lodgy, not sure if they smashed it. <sighs> He's missing the shot, however. Bibu manages to win it out, and it seemed like they could have been aware, just the shot was right on the shoulder, and Bibu, and it's exactly what Durs is about to do. Well, P4's dug in on the corner, strikes first though, and there is the quick trade and the play from the other side. CC swings, but it's an entire lockdown inside. Vitality come off worse for wear though. And now he's in logistics and he's able to at least pull some pieces now together. There's a bit of a wait, a bit of a lull, and suddenly an explosion of bullets. There is a non night Amory plant. Hope you all enjoyed it. As Voy goes for the close confrontation just with Rise on the construction window, it's Blast that gets the early strike. No Ray Kaoxis get the double down, but 15 seconds and P4 strikes for an important double there. Puts the body balance into a one versus one P4. Steps up, steps in, hits the plate and puts Vitality back in the lead. The Anglers being held, Durza needs to try and apply some pressure on the opposite side. The Tozies, oh nosies, as they get the open of the spray through, but it's suddenly coming through for them. There oh. it is, Shinka is left in a one versus two situation on the back line with a C4 in pocket. Wants to try and take the, fight, the cover down the long, takes that very dip dive oh. there. The oh, no way! Didn't stick it! No, because like they managed to run through. So what they did is they called, he is coming, he's in blue. So they were like, all right, we need to reposition and then realize there is no time.